Mm. Scrap, you want some more ice? Scrap, you like the ice? It should be. There's no reason for them to want to build out of granite blocks the size of a semi truck. It's like, okay, let's do something, but let's do it as difficult as we can possibly do it. The reason why Scrappy. I'm convinced. Want a big piece of ice? Oh, you want this one, buddy? You want the ice, buddy? You don't want this. You don't want that. If we go to a stone quarry today, and look at the scope of machinery required to accomplish you don't want the ice. similar things. Let's scrappy have it. Those machines are huge. <laughs> Subscribers to Ancient Alien Theory do not believe extraterrestrials built these amazing monuments, but instead provided some type of technological know-how or tools to our ancestors. Engineering expert Chris Dunn has been several decades <laughs> researching the construction tools used by the ancient Where are you Egyptians. Too cold. Let it slide under this couch. Too late. Oh, he got it. <laughs> they hey, the ass. Using stone balls, copper chisels, a copper tube, and sand to, to grind holes in, in diorite and granite, extremely hard rock. From what I have actually gathered over the years, is information that seems to actually argue against that notion that they had simple tools. In Egypt, Dunn was able to examine the <laughs> firsthand. What he found has proved to be both revolutionary and controversial. Uh -huh. If you look at the Giza Plateau and all the stones that they actually place in the Great Pyramid and Capris Pyramid, the Paris Pyramid, two and a half million blocks of stone in the Great Pyramid alone. They had to have had some efficient means of cutting them to size and putting them into place. They had to have had somebody on site who was saying, okay, I need a block this size, and then getting a block to that size, stack, like you need. While searching several miles north of Giza at Abu Ruwash, Dunn stumbled upon a clue when he spotted a granite rock containing a deep cut. When I first saw it, I just didn't know what to make of it. And it was only after puzzling over it for days, and sometimes waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning, scratching my head, and thinking, well, how did they make this cut? And finally, to realize that the only way that they could have actually cut that thing was with a saw that was 35 feet in diameter. The idea that ancient Egyptians used giant saws provoked much resistance from mainstream archaeologists. Dunn, however, was convinced. I say an ex machine, so I look for a tool. I look for the next Dang, scrap, really? And I could be accused of, well, you know, you don't look for something. You like ice, me Because me you're ball? looking at it through a certain filter. Accepted, I agree. But the question is... It's <laughs> so cute! Is <laughs> oh, he chewed the ice! I see that is a machine man. But there were no machines back then. It's kept it to the so, ice. What, what do I do? I just go looking for more machine guns. And, and uh, they're all over the place. You find them think he gets brain freeze? Find them particularly in the local <laughs> museum. You don't look like you got no kind of brain. There seems to be an impression on the side no kind of, of brain. Oh. Where it the bench, so you got ice? Where there is an undercut. Oh, don't go over there to show off the buddy. And therefore, it must have been a tool that was quite efficient. Dunn also believes that the large depressions in the ground at Giza are not open. Show Daddy, choose ice. Make sure Daddy ice. Scrap your dots. But it were actually used to hold 25 foot saws. Oh, so cute. He's so cute. Chew the ice. Show Daddy, chew the ice, Scrap. Look at Daddy. Scrap, look at Daddy. Look at Daddy. Scrap, look at Daddy. What do you, Scrappy? Let me see. Me eating there, Scrappy. Scrappy, look at Daddy. Another mystery involves how mega stones were lifted up and placed into a precise position. What you find <laughs> in modern construction is that to build big buildings, you need to build big instruments which 
help build these big buildings. And that is something which archaeology has never addressed. The three largest <laughs> man-made stones in the world are we'll put this on, on YouTube. at Baalbek in Lebanon. Each weighs an estimated 1,000 tons, or 2 million pounds. A nearby quarry contains an even bigger stone, known as the Stone of the Pregnant Woman. This giant rectangular block weighs an incredible 1,200 tons. To move it today, 